Today, United played Palace for the first time since February, a game in which Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford got us the goals for a glorious 2-1 victory at the amazing... What? What? Wait? I thought that was San Marino we played on Tuesday. So what score are you going for, Mum? 2-1. 2 Crystal Palace 2, United 1. I already told you a couple of weeks ago. It's, it's a United channel. Yeah, to be honest, I'm actually going with my mum's first prediction, as at the moment, I really can't see United winning any game on the horizon. And we were back at Old Trafford once again, but just like our recent form, the neon sign was not shining under the dark skies, and I thought Palace were the Madrid of London. They barely bought any fans again. were heard from the Shretford end as Palace made us swap ends. It did, however, trigger a rapturous round of applause at our end. After a bright start for us, Palace took over and were hitting us at extreme pace. Casemiro was booked for this challenge. Palace were repeatedly knocking on the door before we thought Hodgland had scored. Four. The Iceman coolly averted danger before Palace stole the ball and Amrabat thought he signed a contract for Raw or Smackdown. the witch <laughs> galvanized by the goal palace surged forward once more Go United. they had a lot of joy down the right And that was the end of the first half. Pellistri running down the wing gave the crowd a surge of energy. It was now wave after wave of United attacks. Hodgland came close once again. And both Pellistri and Garnacho received a standing ovation as one was subbed up for the other. Hey! United, we're now really, really turning the screw. Wonderlock. Despite a terrible run of form, the crowd were still right behind the team. But missing this chance prompted a mass exodus out of the glorious Old Trafford. <laughs> 